Hello everybody, welcome to another episode with Broke Girls Art School. In today's episode, I will be showing you guys how I took this little jean jacket and painted this design on the back using just pretty much acrylic paint and textile medium. So I did the design a little bit lower so my hair wouldn't totally cover it, but yes, I'm super happy with how this turned out and I'll share with you guys everything I learned along the way, but I'm definitely gonna use this technique with some more clothes. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you wanna support my channel. And if you have any questions for me at all, feel free to drop a comment and I'll make sure to get back to you. Let's get started. All right guys, so the first step that we're gonna to wanna to take is to, I just grabbed like a random box that I found, but like a box or a piece of cardboard, something to wrap your shirt around. And then I'm gonna also tape the shirt so it's like pulled pretty tight around the edges of the box. I think it'll work better if I stretch the material a little bit and it'll just be a more stable surface to paint on. Alright, cool. So I'm gonna make sure that this is positioned properly. Shoulders are kind of lined up with the corners of the box. Flip it back over. Yeah, so painter's tape is my favorite kind of tape to use for like everything. So I'm gonna pull this pretty tight and then like I said, try to make sure these hems kind of line up with the side of the box so you know it'll be even. So I'm going to pull this tight on each side. So the supplies for this one are super easy. Pretty much all you're gonna need is textile media. Um, and yeah, I'll tag links in the description box below for this stuff, but you can also find it at your local craft store like Hobby Lobby or Michaels. So you're gonna wanna get textile medium. This is what you'll be mixing with your acrylic paint to make it stick in the fabric. So you can get any colors of acrylic paint. The brand isn't really too important. Um, but yeah, so textile medium, acrylic paint, whatever article of clothing you'll be using, and then I just use these round tip paintbrushes. So this design I actually had drawn up prior on my iPad as like a tattoo concept, uh, but I thought it would make for a cool decal as well. So I just took my light colored Prismacolor because it draws on pretty easy and it washes right out when you run it through the washing machine. So I just went ahead and drew my center line and kind of mapped everything out from there. Um, you could trace something like this if you put it on top of an LED surface, like I'm sure I could have put it on top of my iPad and traced it, but it didn't take me that much time to sketch it on, so I just went ahead and drew it by hand. So again, like I said, uh, all you need is acrylic paint and textile medium, and it's usually two parts acrylic paint per one part textile medium. So you go ahead and mix those, and then you can just start painting away. Since this was a darker colored blue for the shirt, I ended up needing to do two coats of white paint. And I made sure to let it dry completely in between coats. So I'm just going in and getting all my white stuff. Um, I wanted to keep this design really simple, so I'm pretty much just gonna be using white and black. Yeah, so here I'm just going in and doing that second coat. You can see the blue kind of came through a little bit once it dried. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make sure that white was super solid so that way even if it faded through the washing machine when I'm finished with this, it would still be pretty bright. Uh, 
All right, so now that my white was all settled, I decided to just go around the edges of everything with black. I honestly think pretty much everything looks better with a nice heavy black outline, <laughs> especially with anything that you want to be readable from across the room. Like I know if you see this from a distance, you know, it would still look cool and not just like kind of a random blob on the shirt. <laughs> So I did pretty much two passes over everything with the black right, as well, I just, just to make to sure it was really solid. I just show you guys real time how I am doing this like kind of gray wash on here. Um, on the stuff that I already have white painted on for these leaves and stuff, I've just been taking a little bit of black and putting it on the edges. And then I'll go and dip in my water and then I can just go ahead and spread that out. I'm kind of just treating it like a watercolor painting and I'm not totally sure how this is gonna look after I wash it, but if it stays the way it looks now, I think it's pretty sweet. Um, another way you can kinda you do a gradient like that is, um, so say on this other petal, I can go down with water first on top of that white, and then I'm just doing a little dip of black, get that on the edge, and then I'll wipe my brush and smooth it out. So that's kind of how I was doing that wash, same within the eye. I went along with black here and then just kind of smoothed that out to get um, the different tones of gray and like shadows in there. So at the very end, I went in and just added some crisp white highlights just to make it really stand out. And then here I'm just doing another second coat of black to make sure it's nice and solid. All right guys, so this is what it looks like so far. Just wanted to show you up close so you can see the shading a little bit better. There's a little bit of a glare with the lights shining on this during the time lapse, but yeah, I kept the shading pretty simple in the leaves and in the eye. I wanted it to be predominantly just like white and black and not like too much shading. But um, yeah, so next step, I'm going to be like sealing this with heat. So I'll probably put like a towel over it and then go over that with an iron and then we'll wash it and see how it turns out. All right guys, so I just wanted to show you what this looked like before I put it through the washing machine, just in case it gets ruined for any reason. This is my first time trying this myself. So um, yeah, so this is what it looks like. I did do the design a bit lower on the shirt since my hair is pretty long. I wanted it to still be visible while my hair's down, but this is what the design looks like with my hair to the side. I think it turned out really nice. And you know, I wear a lot of black, so I figured just a simple black and white would look good with like black jeans and a tank. This is probably how I would wear this personally, but yeah, I'm in love with it so far. And then I'm gonna go iron it right now and wash it, and then I'll check back and show you guys the absolute finished result. All right guys, now that I have my shirt all laid out on my ironing board, I'm gonna go ahead, I just grabbed like a crappy sheet and put it over the design, because I don't wanna put heat directly on this. Um, so I don't really know how the paint will react to that much heat. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover it to make sure that the design stays safe. We'll cover it like this. And then we can still seal the design without risking ruining it. All right guys, so now after this is nice and sealed, I'm gonna pop it in the washing machine. And then I'll check back after that. All right guys, so this is what it ended up turning out like after the washing machine. Make sure my hair is out of the way. But yeah, the design stayed in there super nice. It's not as crisp as it was before I washed it, but I didn't put it through the dryer. I just put it through the washing machine take this off so I can make sure you guys can see it well but yeah the design stayed super nice almost looks like a kind of vinyl sticker on there 
Um, but yeah, turned out really good. Like I said, I didn't dry it, so I just let it air dry and then I ironed it out to get all those wrinkles out, but it turned out super nice. Just one more just close up so you guys can see. It did crack just a little bit around the edges, but yeah, from a distance, you can't even really see. But yeah, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and make sure to drop a comment if you have any questions at all for me.